Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Vijay and I'm a Microsoft MBP. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can uh, check the usage report in Microsoft 365 Admin Center or Office 365 Admin Center. So, by looking at the report, uh, you will be able to easily see how the users in your organization are using Office 365. So, there are various services like, for example, SharePoint. Uh, you can check about yammer you can check about onedrive for business so all these sharepoint services that you have skype for business or uh, microsoft teams everything you will be able to see how your users are using and these reports are available for the last seven days 30 days 90 days and 180 days so this is the report that it will be available in this uh, format and also the data will not be uh, available uh, immediately. So it will take uh, up to 48 hours and within 48 hours, uh, the data will be available. Whenever you, you will, uh, uh, let's say you will close a user's account, then Microsoft will delete the user's uh, uh, usage uh, report or the data within 30 days. Uh, now let me tell you who are the users who can or who, who is the uh, what is the role that uh, uh, it required to view this report or these are the users having this role they can see the reports for example uh, the global admins it should uh, they can be able to see the report and ideally you should uh, uh, keep uh, very less number of global global admins and then exchange admin people can see it uh, sharepoint admin people can see the report skype for business global reader uh, reports reader and then team service administrator team communications administrator so these are the roles uh, having the people can access the report now let me open uh, my office 365 admin center or uh, microsoft 365 admin center where we can see the report Okay, if you want to learn a SharePoint quickly, then I have few SharePoint training courses, uh, training on SharePoint, uh, SPFX, Nintex, and the Power Platform, which uh, uh, consists of the Power Apps, Power Automate, and Power BI. You can have a look at these uh, courses. I'll put this link in, uh, in the description of this video. And there are trainings for SharePoint site owner as well. Now, if you have not logged in, then uh, uh, navigate to the url admin.microsoft.com and uh, then it will ask you your office 365 credential and once you put that you will come up with this page and here if you'll scroll down then uh, these reports tabs are dedicatedly available in microsoft 365 admin center click on uses and here you will be able to see the usage report now look at this report if you'll see here uh, the, here you can check uh, uh, how, for how many days you want to check the report for example 7 days 30 days or 90 days uh, or even uh, you know 180 days so this will show the data and you can see here these paragraphs available share office 365 exchange onedrive sharepoint sky for business yammer microsoft teams so various services that we are using and it will show this now um, there is if you look at this select a report you will be able to see various uh, options here. For example, if you go to Office 365, you can see activations, active users, group activity. So if you click on group activity, it will show uh, the report for groups, uh, uh, for the active groups and the total number of groups you can see here. And uh, also you can click on this, you will be able to see the activity. If something will be happening, you can see this. And apart from that, if you'll, uh, uh, if you'll see, there are some other uh, reports, like for example, if I'll expand the SharePoint, then you can see here activity. So you'll be able to see the uh, activity happening in SharePoint. For example, uh, there are three things are there, um, uh, files, pages, and users. So if I'll click on users, you can see here number of users by activity type. So who are viewed or edited, synced, shared internally, shared externally, visited the page. So you can see this. For example, if I'll go to the files tab, you'll be able to see the files. You can see here on this particular date, six files viewed or edited. And this is the date where uh, uh, you will see some more files has been uh, edited, 20 or 20 files either viewed or edited. And uh, uh, so if I will, um, this is what you have selected a particular report. If you will not select a particular report, for example, I will navigate again to usage report 
and if we'll scroll down then you can see here email activity uh, you will be able to see uh, OneDrive files activity, SharePoint files activity and uh, Skype for Business, uh, Office activation, Yammer, uh, Microsoft Teams activity and then uh, Microsoft 365 usage analytics report also you can do. You need to enable this and uh, if I will click on OneDrive file so you can see here this is the uh, files uh, total files that have by the state active files so this is the things that you can see here similarly if you uh, click on accounts then you will be able to see the user accounts uh, um, the number of total and the active accounts are there so if you'll, you can see here total accounts 5 active accounts 0 so mostly would not use OneDrive so that's the reason and uh, this is another important thing that you can see here. For example, in this case, uh, for this OneDrive files, uh, or let me open the SharePoint uh, uh, SharePoint files. So if you'll see here, this is the SharePoint files that uh, we are talking about. We are seeing this report and you can see here, uh, Anytime you can also do the filter. So if you'll see here on this particular uh, uh, section where you can see the data in tabular format, um, you can see here username. So you can see here is sort by ascending, descending columns. So what are the columns basically uh, you want to see? Um, then filter. So if you'll see here, I will say, let's say is equal to, and then I'll put the user here. For example, I will say which I add TS uh info dot on microsoft dot com so i'll click on filter and you will be able to see uh, the filter records for this particular user only um so you can uh, do this if you'll clear then you can see come back to the whole report filtering Similarly, if you'll see here, uh, you can go here, you'll be able to see the filter. I want to see let's say file edited uh, more than 10 or it's a greater than 10 so if i'll put this i'll click on filter you can see here uh, this is you can see the filter report as well so apart from that also you can see here uh, externally if anything is uh, um, uh, shared shared file internally page visited so these are the reports apart from that if you'll click on export you will be actually uh, you can export the uh, reports in uh, you can see here in um, uh, csv format file so that you can see uh, the data here in in excel format as well so this is about how we can check out the report. Let me show you one more thing before we close this. So if we'll go to the settings and if we'll scroll down, then there is a setting for reports. And you can see here, make reports, uh, report data available for uh, for Microsoft 365 usage analytics for Power BI. So once you do that, then there is certain settings that you can do in Power BI so that you can also see the Power BI reporting things as well on, on this one. So this is about uh, the usage report that how we can see in Microsoft 365 admin center. And if you like the videos, kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel. You will get a lot of videos on SharePoint, um, uh, your Azure, you can see in SPFX, Nintex. So all these technologies, you will be able to see the videos. And these are our website. You can visit our website. These are our Twitter handle. Do follow us. And this is the Facebook LinkedIn pages that we have. Thank you and have a nice day.